The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, today is going to be a special show. After I give this little announcement, this morning uh, TFNN was playing the music of Fabian Forte. He happens to be my cousin. Uh, his grandmother and my grandmother were first cousins in uh, Asiago, Italy, way back uh, many, many years ago. We happen to be the same age, and... Um, I'll tell you the funny story about this. In 1980, uh, we took the family to um, Las Vegas for a rock and roll review because uh, Frankie Avalon was uh, presenting uh, Fabian and Bobby Rydell. A lot of these guys are from Philadelphia, of course, which Fabian is. And so we went to here to see uh, 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 Frankie Avalon because my uh, daughter's best friend was Laura Avalon, uh, Frankie's daughter. They went to school together, and they're still friends. And so we went to see the thing, and my aunt, uh, I told her we were going, and she says, well, you have to say hello to Fabian. He's your cousin, and I didn't know that. Anyway, I did get to meet him, very nice fellow and everything, but that was my extent of it. He wanted me to, he wanted me to go on stage and do a duet with him, but I, I knew I would um, – you know, off. You know, I would probably upstage him, so I really didn't want to, uh, didn't really want to do anything. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! There's something going on here at the house. Hold on, just a second. I hear a strange noise. There's somebody on the roof. Oh, it's Santa! Oh, Santa! What do you have for us today, boys and girls? I'm going to share with you a couple of trades from my good friend Larry Williams. And uh, I think you're going to like this. This happens to, he does a lot of seasonal work. And uh, this is the, the uh, seasonal for uh, gold at Christmas time. As you can see from the early part of December until right after Christmas, which we're expecting anyway, uh, a big low to come in. You'll notice that there's a very strong probability in the tune of about 85% that the gold will go down into that time frame. So keep an eye on that, you know, for a potential move in gold. It could be uh, could be very, very interesting. So uh, keep an eye on that. That could be something that would be um, very, very uh very, very important. Now, there is something else that we have from uh, Larry Williams that I think is uh, really good, folks. How would you like, how would you like to have a trade that works 95% of the time over a 30-year period? Would you like to have a trade like that? I would too. The problem is I just lost it on my computer because I had to reboot, but I'm going to tell you what it is, and I'm going to let you do what Twentyman always says, and that's defy human nature. Uh, do the work yourself. As we know, there's a very strong probability, I mean extremely strong, for the market to rally from the early part of um, the year, the January effect, starting right after Christmas uh, into um, uh, into the new year. However, there are certain categories of stocks that start going down now and go down into um, Christmas time, and you'll never guess what they are, folks. What What is the busiest time of the year? What's What do you see every day on the street when you go out today or you see in your neighborhood right now? What, what do you see out there? Who's delivering packages, right? Well, guess what? FedEx and UPS have a better than 95% probability of dropping from the first week, uh, the, well, from December the 5th into the 22nd of, of uh, December, the day, the last trading day into Christmas. So for the next two weeks, there's a very high probability that both UPS and FedEx are going to close lower. This is over a 35-year Time frame, I think it was only right, wrong two times, and even then it was very, very small. So watch that. If you if you like to trade those stocks, that's something that you want to be looking at. And guess what? We have another winner here at TFNN. Marshall just named the second group, and that is retail. The two retailers that suffer the most during this time frame, actually there's three of them, but we're going to just cover two. One is Target, 
And the second one is Tiffany. They both start with a T. How about that? Anyway, that's what uh, that, that's the only ring I got, my friend. <laughs> These little bells that I have, I, I play Santa Claus. Well, I don't play it anymore because the kids are too big. But um, I used to play Santa Claus every year, and I would, you know, disguise my voice and pretend that was Santa up on the roof with Rudolph. And anyway, by the way, I see that uh, that the uh, Huffington Post has said that uh, Rudolph the reindeer is uh, is a racist. Uh, and a uh, was it racist and something else? I forget what it was. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe uh, what they said. But anyway, keep an eye on both of those folks, um, tar uh, Target and uh, Tiffany. Um, in fact, there's a, there's a Walmart is not in that class. Walmart doesn't have that same um, characteristic as the other. But there's Target and Walmart, and uh, what was the other one? I got it right here. Hold on just a second. Just give me a Best Buy, BBY. Those three. Um, Tiffany, Best Buy, and Target. Those three are the best for the probabilities of going down. So uh, keep an eye on those. I had the charts, but I had a uh, computer problem here right before the, the show started, and I lost my chart. So there's not much uh, I can do uh, about that. So we'll have to uh, worry about that the next time we go through. Uh, hold on just a second here. Um, uh, someone's asked a question. Is there any reason I don't know? I, uh, I, well, the, Mr. Z is asking, you know, any reason I'm not looking at this SPX. Well, I certainly am at the, uh, at the Mercury retrograde and full moon and perigee date. Uh, one of the things that I focused on yesterday was the ABCD pattern that we had uh, in the uh, S&P when we got, I think we, I, we talked about it right here on the show here, when we got up to that uh, 2646, that was a, you know, spot on, you know, uh, ABCD pattern. And it was right at a 382 retracement. So I was looking at that. Uh, and so that's one of the things that, you know, I'm keeping, a, you know, keeping a, a close eye on. We've been as high as uh, uh, 2628 today. So that's uh, really not much, uh, not much going on. But uh, I, I think that we are headed down. Uh, there's so many easier things to trade. I mean, you know, I've been very bearish as gold for a long time. I still think it's going to be going down. And also the bonds. The bonds are, are getting ready to come up and make a uh, that big pattern that we've been waiting for, Mr. Z. So, uh, by the way, Mr. Z, did you get the uh, did you get the information from um, from John Jameson? He said he was going to send it to you. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, great, glad you did, folks. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, Bitcoin right after the break here because it's going to start trading pretty quickly. There's a lot of news coming out on it. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but nobody else does either. But if you want information about what this is all about, um, you know, pay attention to what John Jameson is going to be telling us here at TFNN. He's going to be doing a letter for TFNN, and I, you know, he's going to be on as guests, of course as often as possible, but he's got some really interesting. Um, we hit 12,500 today in the bit, and uh, we'll see, uh, you know, where it's going to, uh, where it's to, where it's going to go, you know, from, from that time. So we'll watch, uh, we'll watch what happens with it. And um, that's about the way that it goes. Um, what other question that someone had, and that was about the crude oil. Uh, we're still, you know, we're down here to some support. That's all I can say at this 56, uh, 50 level. Below 56, say goodnight. But uh, this is just a little minor support here. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, I had a uh, request to uh, find uh, Mr. Z ask uh, why there was a lot of selling in the Hong Kong market last night. And I can certainly uh, attest that there was as a huge gap down, broken. We broke down a great deal. This market started down. It's a bear market. But I, but I have some very important news to uh, let you know here. Uh, is I have no idea why things go up or down, folks. I'm a technician. I don't look at the news. I mean, I listen to it once in a while only to get some ideas to try to entertain you here for 55 minutes, but I don't know what causes the selling or anything like that, just like I don't know what causes the buying when that happens. I look at the patterns, and we've had a, a you know relatively bearish pattern in the Hong Kong things, so that's basically uh, all I can tell you. When you see markets that have these really – uh, big breaks to the downside, though, those are markets that you have to be really aware of. We have another one uh, that is going on right now uh, that we, we talked about yesterday that is probably getting ready for another leg down, and that is the uh, the copper market. You can see the copper market made the beautiful head and shoulders pattern here um, over the past uh, four or five months. And we had the big breakdown yesterday, uh, and the, on, excuse me, on Tuesday. Let's try it again on Monday. This is Wednesday, and we're having a little bit of a rally here. I would be looking at the um, the uh, copper to get a rally back to that 302 level to be a potential seller. That would be a 382, and then I believe we're heading down to the to the 280 level. That's basically what it looks like to me. I mean, it's a very bearish chart. And uh, we used to call it Dr. Copper because the stock market and copper ran hand in hand. You know, that left the that left the station a long, long time ago. So that correlation has gone by the gone by the way, wayside. Uh, Cam, what price was the copper uh, March copper that you sold? Was it at uh, two ninety nine or three bucks? Uh, I just wondered if it got to that three oh two level because that's the area that I was looking for to see if this was going to be. Uh, going to be the same thing. So we'll we'll sort of, you know, watch that uh, as we uh, look at this today. Uh, one of the questions that we had this morning was about the crude oil. Folks, the crude oil has really done very little. We're down about two bucks and a half. 
uh, from the high. And uh, this is an important level here because we, if we crack the 56 level, this is going to mean that uh, the whole scenario of uh, seeing the market go a lot higher is going to be uh, is going to be affected quite a bit. Now, uh, you'll notice here that we were looking for, you know, a, a pullback to come in here, which we're getting, but below $56 a barrel is going to be taking out the lows of last week. And since we did not make a new high, uh, that's a very, very bad sign. We've already seen that occurring uh, in the um, um, uh, heating oil, but it has not happened yet in the uh, in the crude. So you're correct. Uh, the prices that you're looking at, is uh, really interesting here in the crude oil at 56.60 uh, to 56.70. It should hold that, you know, very, very, uh, very closely. And uh, if we uh, if we go lower, then we're looking at something, you know, even more uh, ominous. As you remember, you know, the the probabilities uh, for for crude oil coming down here. We'll put this up again because this is uh, this is similar to what Bill Meridian shared with us on Monday, and we'll get this up so you can take a look at. It. You'll see the seasonal of crude oil to come down after these uh, speculative longs have been in here. And these people that bought it over the last two weeks are now underwater. So uh, pretty soon there's going to be a, um, you know, going to be a little bit of a problem. So we'll see what's looking at. The price on copper uh, is uh, going to be down around the uh, eight, um, excuse me, around the 280 level, I believe is that ABCD format that we're looking at in the copper, you know, at that, at that time. So we'll watch it, uh, with a great deal of uh, interest, as we always do. All right, here's one I want to show you, folks. Uh, oh dear, I for some reason, folks, I had all my charts ready to go, and you'll never guess what happened. They all gave up the ghost, and um, boy, oh boy, this is going to be tough. I have to show you the chart here of the XAU because this chart is just flat out bearish, and I this is fit, fitting in nicely with what. Um, we've been talking about here. Just give me one second to try to get this up here so that we can see it a little better here. And you'll notice that uh, it looks pretty ominous. Let's just get this uh, chart up. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, to show it here. Uh, I believe 1243 is a, a easy shot. Hey, we're not very far away. We're, you know, we're, we could be there today. I don't want it to be there today. I want it to be there in about a week or so. I don't want it to fall out of bed from here because to fall out of bed from here means it's going to go down lower because, you know, we have a strong seasonal that it bottoms around the 22nd of December to the first week in January, and this is only the first week in December. We don't want that. But if you look at this XAU chart, folks, and you can see gold, what it's doing, it's breaking down also. Uh, this is telling us that, you know, we're, we're heading lower. And uh, so my assumption is that's uh, where it's going to go. Now, I don't know if there's people are not just buying gold jewelry, um, you know, this year or what or whatever it happens to be, but gold is heading lower. And it's a very strong seasonal, and we'll just see if it, uh, if it follows through. And if it turns, if it should get above $1,300, uh, you know, rally 30 bucks from here, then this would all be wrong. But uh, that's pretty much, uh, you know, what we're looking at. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know about the recession part, but um, the, sh the yield curve is certainly telling us that it's flattened, and that's usually pre-recession stuff. So we should pay, you know, a little bit of attention to it, and that would be uh, that would be something else. Remember, there's a lot of political ramifications here in the stock market because um, the uh, the president has been taking uh, you know credit for the you know, this big move in stocks, which he certainly has a lot to do with it. But on the same token, if it starts to go down, you'll never guess what will happen if it starts to go down. You'll see. Okay, now we have a question here about live cattle, and we're going to cover that right now. And we've covered it again, but we're gonna, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the uh, – let's just get in here to the, um, to the futures part of this because this is what we cover uh, every um, week. And you'll notice here we'll get this up here. Uh, this is Feb cattle. That's the one that we're in right now. Uh, we're already down here uh, below the 120 level now, folks. Uh, we're getting really close to the 118 level. Uh, here again, pay really close attention to what happened after point C. Do you see that big wide range after point C? Uh, that was that 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 rally was uh, was 45 percent, right between uh, 38 and 50 percent. But it took seven days 
uh, for that rally to occur in cattle. And that's why it had such a bearish bias coming into this week. Uh, very similar to what we had happen to copper. Uh, you know, when we had that head and shoulders pattern, it was just basically looking at the numbers and uh, that's what you're looking at. We also have a strong seasonal here uh, in cattle. Cattle have a strong seasonal to, to drop into um, the Christmas week. Why, I don't know. You think demand would be strong, but maybe they're buying hams and turkeys. I don't know the answer to that, but there is a strong seasonal for cattle to come down uh, into uh, the Christmas week, and that would fit out really nicely with this pattern in here. And then you have a really nice ABCD pattern. We haven't had one of these uh, and since the June August um, three drive that we had there, so that that's a that's a trade that would look, um, you know, pretty interesting if we can uh, get it to that get it to that area. So we want to be watching that, you know, uh, into the future. So that's uh, another thing that we should be, you know, keeping a, you know, close eye on. But now we have to pay a few bills because Santa Claus is coming to town. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and I wanted to uh, share with you this chart of the um, – uh, bit well, not Bitcoin, but this is the tulip bulb mania going back in uh, 1634. Now, contrary to popular belief, I was not trading 
back then. I wasn't born until 1637, so there's a big difference. Just take a look at this. Now, remember, we didn't have the Internet. We didn't have the telephone. Uh, I think we had the Gutenberg presses for newspapers, but that was about it. And so, you know, this, this is coming uh, secondhand from uh, – the folks at uh, what's a smart money, but uh, this is basically showing you know what happened uh, as far as the euphoria and uh, the bubble and everything like that. Uh, I I listened to John Jameson. I've known John for 16 years, and he's a really smart dude. He says this is the wild wild west. He said, this is the internet in 1990, so I have to uh, believe him. He says, it's not about cryptocurrencies at all. That's the, that's the flag that they're putting up, but it's about blockchain technology, which makes this the internet on steroids. So there's going to be a lot of changes coming. I, you know, I'm, hey, listen, guys, you know, I've never owned a pocket protector, so I, you know, to, to, drag, to drag me into this kind of technical stuff, uh, is not an easy task, but I'm trying to learn, you know, a little bit uh, each day. All I know is that when you look at Bitcoin trade, it trades just like uh, any other thing that we trade, whether it's gold or oil or used to be pork bellies. They, it has the beautiful swings, and that's because the public is out there trading the heck out of it. And it trades 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, there's going to be a big difference now when the CME and the CBOE and the ICE come in because, um, you know, they're going to have regular trading hours. And the Bitcoin people, um, most of those people that are trading are not – uh, trader types. These are, well, I would guess they would be Bitcoin groupies if you want to say that, but they, these these things are moving. I mean, you have to pay attention to what's happening, and, and it might be right. This might be something that is, you know, totally different to everything that we look at. I, I don't know the answer to that. All I do know is that it's, uh, it's going to be something, you know, pretty big. That's uh, what I think is going to happen. But again, that's my thought. And I'm not sure if I'm right or not. But let's get back to um, one of the charts that we've been following. And, boy, I had some nice charts. Uh, no, uh, no, I, I'm not. I don't even own anything at all uh, My, my uh, on Bitcoin or any of the other coins. I'm, I wouldn't. First of all, if you buy, there's 1,200. No, you have to if you if you trade a blockchain, you have to own you have to own Bitcoin in order to buy the others. If you if you go to um, John Jameson's uh, webinar, I believe it's on TFNN. I'm not sure it might be posted there, but he explains all of this because there are over 1,200 crypto. Well, here I'm talking about stuff that I'm getting third hand, second hand, but there are 1,200 cryptocurrencies. What John does is he puts up. You know what I ought to do is try to get him on the air here. Uh, hold on, let me see. He's usually, it's uh, let's see, it's fine. It's mid mid afternoon over there now. Let's see if he's there. And uh, let me see. Around, uh, see if we can get him on. But there are 1,200 cryptocurrencies, and what he does is he looks at uh, the top 10, and he checks them with volume, and he's got a little way to see what's happening. Hold on, we'll see if he can get on here. Uh, See if you can, can you see, can you be my G-U-E-S-T guest now? Maybe we can get him on and uh, he'll, he'll, he'll explain some of this to us because I don't, I don't really like talking about it because, uh, you know, <laughs> you're right, Pete. Most of the people talking about it don't know what they're talking about either. And I don't either, but John does. So I'm just... I'm just, uh, you know, telling you the little bits and pieces that I know that there's a lot of them, and uh, uh, on Skype, yeah. Just a minute, Johnny. Hold on. S K K Y P E. You know, wait a minute. I don't know if I. Wait a minute. I don't know if I could add him to a group call or not. Let me see if I can get him on here. See if I can get him on. John. Uh, that's not working. John. Hello, Larry. Hey, John, how are you? Let's see if we can hear uh, everybody, see if we can hear. I'm, I'm on TFNN. Can you folks hear, John? Uh, can someone give me a big 10-4? Uh, copy that, 10-4, if we can hear John or not. 
Hey, look at this. Do you know what? I just put you, the first time I've ever done. John, we're on TFNN. This is John Jameson from the UK. John, they're asking about uh, Bitcoin and blockchains, and uh, we're getting ready to trade. You want, you want to give the folks an idea of what you said about the wild, wild west and what we're looking at with all these 1,200 currencies? I told the folks how you look at the top 10 or 15, and you decide which ones uh, you know look the best. So why don't you go ahead and give the folks a, a little bit of a, a review of what this is can you do that sure yeah live and unscripted um <laughs> <laughs> yeah with with 30 seconds prep so um yeah basically there are you know around 1300 coins and tokens and most are gonna are gonna come to nothing and the methodology that i recommend is to look and ask the, the question is to keep it is to keep the question simple and to just ask what problem does this coin or token solve? And the second question you want to ask is, is it scalable? So, for example, um, I'm um, about to launch a newsletter with TFNN, and I'm currently looking at um, infrastructure coins and tokens. That is, um, coins or tokens that have the potential to um, match Ethereum and to be a, a competitor for Ethereum. So, um, yeah, and then effectively uh, with Bitcoin, it is the wild, wild west. Um, I was talking to my good friend Larry um, yesterday and the day before recommending a coin. And in the last 24 hours, that coin's gone up. Um, well, it's doubled in price, effectively. Wow. Um, so we had a... Is this, is this ADA? Uh, IOTA has gone up. Uh, I was recommending oh. it in the first newsletter at um, $2.41. It hit five sixty this morning. Wow. Um, but here's the wild, wild west part. Um, it's happened two out of two times now, so I'm guessing it's it's this is the way it works. Um, whenever you make a, um, a a move into a smaller coin, and you find yourself uh, on the end of a really great return, what the exchanges do is uh, they typically <clears throat> there's only a handful of exchanges that trade these coins. Not everything does. So without going too far off track, what they do is they go into air quotes maintenance mode. And you'll find it's quite tricky to get out of a position um, when you want to. But um, luckily, these um, the coins and tokens I'm taking positions in are longer term. I'm not looking to get in, you know, on a Tuesday and get out on a Friday type of thing. Okay. So, um, John, we're going to have a break here in just a second. But before we do that, could you stay with us till after the break? Because uh, we have a question about how the uh, CME and the, the listed uh, commodities Bitcoin things are going to affect, uh, you know, what the people that trade 24-7. Because I imagine most of those people that trade 24-7 uh, in the Bitcoin are not regular commodity traders, would be my guess. Sure. Well, they're miners. I mean, we'll talk about that afterwards. But, uh, you know, you, you, if, if anyone's familiar with the Commitment to Traders report, the easiest way to think of the miners is they're the commercials. Mm -hmm. And it's 24-7 trading. Yeah. So that's hey, gonna we're going to take a little break and then we'll be right back with John Jameson from the UK on Bitcoin. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, Trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back. We're talking with John Jameson from uh, the UK about uh, Bitcoin. John, the question the question that we're having is, uh, what will be the effect of the uh, mercantile and the Chicago Mercant and the Chica um, CBOE on the trading of Bitcoin? Do you have any idea at all? <laughs> well, that is a great question. And um, I'm not sure anybody knows for sure. Um, but, I, you know, let's think about this. Let's, let's think about it. Um, the question maybe is, you know, is paper money, is paper Bitcoin going to be able to control real Bitcoin? in the same way that paper gold controls real gold. So mm -hmm. the fact is, is that the Bitcoin blockchain, it takes around 10 minutes for miners to discover a new block. And um, th at the moment, it is um, prime conditions for them to, when they uncover a new block, to sell their um, coins at full retail. So they think of them as providing the supply. So um, if paper money comes in, if paper Bitcoin comes in and starts sh aggressively shorting it, then depending on the size, the size of the contracts and the curbs, I have read the size of the contracts at the CME, but can't remember them off the, t the top of my head. But depending on the curbs that they put in place, it would be possible to, ma to disrupt the supply demand for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but always remember this, um, there was a failed takeover attempt this summer with the hard, I've got to be careful how I say this, the hard fork of, um, of Bitcoin. And that was cancelled la at the last minute. Um, and the idea behind that was to change the block size from one megabyte to two. Now, that was seen as a way of centralizing the miners. So the people who were behind that, people like Barry Silbert, Larry Summers, uh, etc., that was seen as a failed takeover attempt. And what that, was, what that was seen as is a way of centralizing the miners. So if you have centralized c control through the CME and then centralized mining, you have a, you know, we're in the same situation as a central bank, really. The whole idea about Bitcoin is it's a decentralized, no one controls it way of uh, giving a store of value that can't be politicized or taken away. So... The argument is, and I, the one I, my opinion is that Bitcoin is a store of value, and um, when the paper, when paper Bitcoin gets started, remember that if you know two things will happen: if they start shorting it, 
then you'll see if the miners are prepared to step in and buy it and, and, and cover it. So just to get um, the final point is think about George Soros um, attacking the British pound when, we, uh, when the UK got kicked out of the ERM mechanism. Soros correctly figured out that the UK didn't have the treasury reserves to prop up the currency. And he made the, you know, the, the fortune that he did over that short period of time. Mm-hmm. So the same thing could happen here. Um, is there enough? Is there enough? Um, are the miners powerful enough? Because they're still decentralized. Have they got the focus to be able to control the uh, supply, the overhead supply that massive shorting could take? And, you know, if it goes the other way, just think about this, you know, who professional money um, doesn't buy, doesn't buy, well, might buy breakout somewhere, but not at these levels, the, the levels of, of um, uh, you know, unless it's going to go massively higher. And one of the things that I've noticed in the last four or five days is as, a, uh, as Larry and I have been talking over the last week, there's been an enormous shift from in the, in the media from Bitcoin as a bubble to quick get it now before it goes to 50,000. And um, any of you, most of you listening will quickly realize that that means a high is near, <laughs> um, as much as I don't want that to be. Does that make sense, Larry? Yeah, it makes very good sense. Now, we have another question from one of our listeners about the Winklebross brothers. Uh, we hear that rumors that they were involved with Bitcoin from the very beginning. Is that true? It is, yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Well, they sure made some money on that one, didn't they? <laughs> they did, yeah. Well, that's good karma. From uh, if Good karma if the, um, if the shenanigans with uh, fa- what happened with Facebook is true. Mm-hmm. Well, that's for sure. So what we're really looking at now is uh, whether the thing is going to be legitimate or not. And this is going to, we've we talked several times, John, but this is probably going to take uh, several months, if not longer, before people realize it's either a scam or, well, not a scam, but it's either a bubble, uh, you know, just a passing fad, or it's something that's really, really important. Do you have any idea how long that would take? Well, these are these are all great questions, but they're they're unknowable. So you're much better off thinking about um, the. Re- I think it's more accurate to look at the reaction of um, the establishment to Bitcoin, and see what they're doing. So, you know, they wheel out um, they wheel out the you know the all all the experts, and you you have well publicized people like um, Jamie Dimon. You know, it's a bubble. It's a Ponzi scheme. You have um, uh, the economist uh, Stiglitz came out. I think he was on Bloomberg a couple of weeks ago, saying that it should be banned. You know, and then if you look at if you look at the news around the world, governments are scrambling right now um, to close the gates. Now, it's definitely the case that on all the exchanges now are all the legitimate ones. You need to have they have full know your customer. So, on most of them, if you want to tr- if you want to transact in any reasonable amounts. And these days, you don't need very much Bitcoin at all to have to for them to flag that as a reasonable amount. Then uh, they restrict what you can buy and sell. So they're restricting it that way. And you know, if you think about um, FDR and what he did in the 30s with gold, if you think I know that was you think well that's a slightly different thing. But really, what FDR was trying to do was devalue the dollar. So instead of doing that against other currencies, he decided to do it against gold and basically confiscated it, which I'm sure you all know. So if Bitcoin is going to be accepted, then you know, ask yourself when you when you're out and about with family and friends, just by asking asking around, how many people do you know who still own it or don't own it? And very very few people at this point own it. It's definitely not in the mainstream. Oh my so gosh! I think, yeah, that's for I sure. Think, yeah, sorry. Um, so I I think that with the price of it steadily going up, I just checked a second ago on the ad break, and it's hit twelve thousand seven hundred dollars now. Wow, that's a thousand dollars in just a day. It is. Yeah, yeah. But you say tulip mania. Well, tulip mania ended when the I think it was the Sempus Augustus, um, or the Viceroy. It was one of those two. I think it was the Sempus Augustus. I think that hit five thousand florins, which was about the price of a townhouse. Mm-hmm. So um, we've got a. If, if we're going to get up to that level of bubble, we've got a bit further to go, right? 
Especially if they're going to be buying in Hong Kong. <laughs> it's going to cost a lot more than that. Sure. Anyway, listen, John, I want to thank you for being on and helping us. And you've got a letter coming out with, uh, with TFNN. You want to tell us a little bit about that? We've got a break coming soon, but stay with us after the break and tell us a little bit more about what's going to be in that letter because uh, I've seen it. I've really enjoyed it. I've learned a lot from it. So uh, we're going to hear some music here in just a second to let the folks know we've got a commercial. And then we come back. I'd like for you to just go over it. Uh, again, because it's, uh, you know, this is really the cutting edge, and I, I really would like the folks to uh, to listen. I, when I was thinking today about this, in 1865, uh, Tucson was founded, and uh, Tombstone was the biggest city in Arizona, and it was bigger than Los Angeles. I think now there's 2,800 people that live in Tucson, so <laughs> things have wow. changed over the years, that's for sure. Stay with us, John. We'll be back in about three minutes, okay? No problem. Thanks, John. John Jameson from the UK. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Basil Chapman will be hosting a full-day Master Trader class Friday, December 8th from 9 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. This live seven-and-a-half-hour online class will teach you the complete concepts of Basil's Chapman Wave trading methodology along with a variety of indicators and charting patterns that Basil uses on a daily basis, including the concept of higher peaks and lower troughs, the importance of the peak D, buy and sell modes, sustaining rallies and declines, MACD, stochastic, moving averages, on balance volume, and much more. Everyone that attends will also receive Basil's CD book introducing the Chapman Wave methodology, a $249 value, along with one month of his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, a $128 value. Basil will be using live charts where and when possible in the webinar to show the concepts of his trading methodology, which works on all time frames. For all the details and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with John Jameson uh, from the UK. John, tell us a little bit about the leather that's coming out uh, this week. Sure, yeah. Um, what the leather is covering is really the movers and the news in the in the market so for example we'd be looking at um is bitcoin we'll be asking the following questions basically is bitcoin on sale right now 
Is it, for example, being bought at full retail prices? We'll be looking at demand. We'll be looking at the uh, new buyer demand and seeing if that's uh, overcoming the supply from the miners. And we'll be, through analyzing that, we'll be able to answer, better answer the questions, are we expecting a rotation out of Bitcoin and into the altcoins? And also, um, we'll be looking at, you know, highs and lows in the market, when they occur, and whether we can expect them uh, to contain prices or Bitcoin prices for more than 10 trading days. So the letter is based around what I call the miners' pressure gauge. And I think of that as the commitment of traders report um, for the Bitcoin universe. And because if you, if you think about the relationship between the, the non-trade weighted US dollar index and the euro, um, the euro has about a 57% um, weighting. Well, the same goes with Bitcoin in the crypto universe. So if you think of the miners' pressure gauge um, and uh, Bitcoin itself as the euro against uh, the US dollar index, then you'll get an idea about what, what we'll be covering. So what we'll be looking for is when the gauge is at extremes and um, what, why, why it gets there, why the, the miners are uh, incentivized to push it that far, what causes the reversals. And we'll also be uh, discussing what's happened in the past when the opposite has happened, when the uh, miners um, stop mining and basically start buying to support prices. So that, that's, the, that's what the letter will be covering on a weekly basis. And also, which coins are currently moving, which have got the momentum, and which, um, which look like they've got the potential to, uh, to go up much further. John, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. That's John Jameson from the UK. John, really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. No problem, Larry. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!